Hello Floss Tube. This is Cindy's Adventures in Stitching and today we're going to talk about organization. This time of year kind of lends itself to looking around and thinking, I can't stand this anymore. I need a better way to organize either my fabric or my charts or maybe your floss. So today that's what we're going to do and we're going to start with fabric. This is how I used to have my fabric and you can't even say organize because it was simply thrown into this tote. Here I've got uh, backing fabric for when I make pillows and things and then I've just kind of got everything thrown in here. It's a hodgepodge and it would kind of drive me crazy because I want to find something very quickly or I might want to compare what I have and see maybe my total stash. I was watching a video from Steel City Stitchers and they had a great idea. I got on Amazon and the name of what I bought was a little different than what they had bought, but it's called Thickened Fabric Organizer Boards. Sometimes I've seen them listed as comic boards or backing for a comic book organization but I'm telling you, it's the way to go. I'm in the process. I wanted to show you the old unorganized way. This is my new way, and I know I'm going to love it. I have here a board, and it's, it's pretty thick. And then what I've done, and I, I'm sorry, another reason why I ordered this one versus some of the others is I didn't want to stick any pins inside my cloth permanently. And this particular board came with clips. And as you can see, when you look at my fabric, I have clipped the fabric to the board along with the name of the fabric and sometimes depending on what all came with it when I bought it it might also include uh, where I bought it from and all you have to do and I mean this is simple and easy you take your fabric and this particular fabric even has the name of it on here this is cobweb the name of the fabric is cobweb and it's a 16 count Ada so you just fold it so that it will fit over the top of your board. And it was uh, folded in two or in half, and I'm just folding it in thirds. I put it over the top. I wrote on here the name of it, and I take my clips, which I put away, put it over the top, and if you wanted to organize it by color, you certainly could. I haven't got that far yet. I probably will do that at the end. And stick it in here. And then you can easily see what it is. Maybe even where it came from. And the colors that you have. It's that simple. And it's even kind of fun to do because I don't know if you're like me, sometimes I forget what I have. So it was kind of nice to revisit all of that. I am shocked. <laughs> that I forgot. So I took it a step further and I'm going to do the same thing to my backing fabric for my pillows. And that way I, I like to choose something that has a small print on it. And I'm, if I'm gonna fill a bowl, I might want them all to coordinate. So it's kind of nice that I keep them all together and I, I take it out of, hmm, that's dusty, wonder how that got dusty. Um, I take it out of my quilting stash and I'll put it in here. This container came from Hobby Lobby. It's called a stackable, no, latching storage container and it's 16 and a half, 16 and a fourth by 11 and a fourth, a 25 quart. Um, Somebody just came in. We have a visitor. We're in the bunny room today because I wanted to set everything up on a table. Uh, normally we film in our vintage camper, but today it's is cold a little. Out there. It is cold out there. <laughs> it's cold out there today. Cold enough to snow, although we don't have any snow, darn it. Maybe we'll get some before this holiday season is over. So, anyway, quick, simple, fast, and even fun and very rewarding 
to organize your fabric this way. So now let's go to charts and I'll kind of show you the mess I have with charts. Put all that back and I'm going to work on that tomorrow and get it all done. And this is something that you can do. You don't even have to dedicate time, specific time to that. You can um, do this while you're watching TV. So, or while you're watching FlossTube. So, this is going to be more of a job. Here are my charts. And the way I currently have them organized is I just put them in this tote. And I do have them separated by season. So I've got my miscellaneous. Can you see this okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got... I'm just curious about something. Yeah. What do you think the price tag of that tote is? The price tag of this tote? No, not the tote. <laughs> <laughs> How much money do you have wrapped up in the contents of that Oh, tote? gosh. I'm not sure. I don't know. You're not sure? You don't want to disclose. <laughs> That's that's, that's it. But you know what I could say? I could open up that gun safe and I could say the same thing to you. It's so. called an investment. Uh, well, this is an investment. Uh, you could okay. have one heck I of die. a garage sale. Yeah, I die. You're going to make a heck of a lot more off my investment than you are on, I will on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, just depends on who you're selling to. Okay. That could be a service. I think there is a site out there. I just haven't visited it, which is a good thing, where people can sell their cross stitch. Um, I'm, if you know what it is, if you're a viewer and you know what it is, I'd love to know the site that people sell their um, their wares, their cross stitch wares that they no longer want. Me too. <laughs> oh, you're going to get mad at me and sell my stuff? Just in case. <laughs> I don't want you to know. So anyway, I've got them already separated into spring and summer and autumn. And in some cases, I... Uh, oh, well, I didn't even know no, that, that was there. in there. <laughs> See what I mean about finding stuff? I've oh. heard that shock tone before. <laughs> That goes with this. See, I bought the thread, but I haven't put it all together. But I stored it together so that I would be able to, it's, to do it's that. It's worth more if it's not open, so stay with it. <laughs> okay. And then I've got some things like um, I had decided I know I want to use this fabric for um, this particular chart. So I kind of stored them all together. So um, you could still do that with these pages inside of the notebook. So anyway, you can kind of see where I've already got them separated. I've got my punch needle charts in here. I've got my wool applique with a spare needle in here. And again... That spare needle was on the floor? <laughs> no, it wasn't on the floor. Never touched the floor. Again, it's kind of fun to go back and see what you have because, you know, sometimes we forget. So anyway... <laughs> um, I bought this for the price tag still on it, $5. And what I thought I would do is I will either cover it, like do a some kind of quilting thing and maybe cover it like a, you know, when we were kids, did you ever have kids at school? Girls probably. They'd cover their folder or their book cover to protect it. So I could make something to cover that or I could just put a chart in here so that it would my, remind myself, oh, that's my notebook that has my charts in it. But well, I, you could put a slip of paper in there with the address of the place that you go to to sell those in case we ever need to liquidate them. <laughs> we don't, I can't see that in the foreseeable future. Well, one never knows. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I should probably turn this around this way. So anyway, um, when I'm done, I will get those tabs that go in, the dividers, or I'll get dividers that will separate miscellaneous to everything else. But this was a $5 notebook. It's nice and thick. I think it'll hold most of my charts. I might have to get a separate one for um, my punch needle and my wool applique. And if I get really, really, really ambitious, I'll show you this real quick. Sorry. Where'd you go? Go right here. So in here are, I really hate to even show you this. These. Oh, go ahead. These are my quilt patterns that really need to be organized as well. And, hey, I've even got a book in here. So, I just need to go through my stuff. You know, it's good. So That's like a New Year's resolution. We're going to get everything organized? We are going to get more organized. Exactly. And I'm starting with the fun stuff, fun stuff which is my fabric and my cross stitch charts. And then I'm going to go move on to my quilting charts. So anyway, 
fast, simple, quick. Hope you found something that you might be able to use, a tip or a trick or something that will help you get organized because it really is a good feeling to get organized, look at your stuff, be able to find it quickly and easily. It's so frustrating when you're looking for something and you cannot find it. Tell me about it. Believe me, I know. I live it almost every day. So I'm right. turning over, this is my New Year's resolution. Were the comic boards in Amazon fine? Comic boards were an Amazon Fine $18.99. It was not called a comic board though. It was called a thickened fabric organizer board. We'll put a link in the description. We'll put a link in the description and we'll also do a link in the description for the latching storage container, which is over here. And that came from Hobby Lobby. And I will tell you that I think if you want a small container, to organize your things in, I think Hobby Lobby has the best price. That container was $7.99 and they have 40% coupons all the time. That's cheaper than you can find them at Walmart or at Joann's. So that's, that's your tip for the day. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found something you can use and happy stitching. <music>